that offers free transportation to get the vaccine. CBS 42 News reporter Autumn Bracey is live outside the Etowah County Health Department with what this could mean for the community. Autumn. Good morning, Ani. Where there's so many people in Etowah County, specifically the rural part, that don't have good transportation to get the COVID-19 vaccine. And so county leaders here say they are trying to bridge that gap, and that's why they've launched this free program to provide transportation. And if you take a look on your screen, you'll see the bus that is taking people to get the vaccine in the community. Now the program was just launched about a week ago, but since then the county says they haven't had good participation as far as people using the services. Now this comes as the percent positivity rate for COVID-19 in Etowah County is above the average statewide. Now, once you do call the transportation department in Etowah County, they will then pick you up and take you to your desired vaccination location and return you home. County leaders say they have high hopes for the program's expansion with continued interest. Um, well, we're always looking to expand our service. Um, currently, we um, have the number of drivers to be able to accommodate the, the traffic that we need uh, that that we need it for. But um, if we have, you know, added uh, requests for transportation and we see we can't accommodate people, we are interested in hiring new drivers. Now, safety is a big priority if you do choose to ride the buses. That includes masks being required to be worn on it. And also, there is sanitizing wipes available for people that want to clean surfaces as well. Right now, they do have funding to hold this program until at least September of 2022. We're live in Gadsden, Autumn Bracey, CBS 42 News, for local coverage you can count on. All right, Autumn, thank you. The city of Pelham is now required.